name is Mike Gabianoli, and welcome to Tech Talk Tuesdays. In these videos, we are going to discuss the gear, equipment, and technology we use to stay safe and have fun in the outdoors. Today's episode is going to be about climbing rope. As you might have guessed, the climber's rope is a crucial piece of safety equipment in the climber's tool bag, as it provides safety and supports the climber if they fall. Although this is a crucial piece of equipment, the climber's rope is also an old and simple piece of technology that dates back to 3500 BC and was used by the ancient Egyptians. The nylon ropes that we like to climb on today were developed in the 1930s for use during World War II. That being said, a lot has changed about these nylon ropes since the 1930s. So let's explore the world of climbing ropes today. The first thing we're going to talk about is the two main kinds of ropes, or classifications, you could say, of ropes. The two kinds of ropes are static ropes and dynamic ropes. The main difference between these two ropes is the stretch. Static ropes do not stretch and are used for rigging, hauling, and if you're going to climb the rope or ascend the rope itself, that's where those static ropes are going to be used. Dynamic ropes do stretch, and they do so to protect the climber if they fall from whiplash and other kinds of injuries that are similar to that. So to review, the two kinds of ropes were static or not stretchy ropes, and dynamic or stretchy ropes. So here I have examples of both kinds of ropes. We have our static rope here in white and our dynamic rope here in blue. On the video it may be hard to tell the difference, but the threads of this static rope are actually much stiffer than those of this dynamic rope. Also, when looking at the rope, you can find out a lot of information about the rope by looking at the end or the tail tag of that rope. On that tail tag, you might find information such as length or di and diameter of the rope, possible uses, as well as brand and, and production date of that same rope. A dynamic rope will also have marks marking the end and middle of that rope to help the climber know where they are on that rope while they are climbing. These dynamic ropes might also come in what we call a bi-pattern or two-pattern rope. Those kinds of ropes will change patterns at the middle of the rope, so it's very easy to see the difference once you've passed the middle mark of that rope. There are many different companies developing these ropes, and you can get them in a variety of colors and features, such as pattern, length, diameter. Most ropes will come in a standard length of 60 meters, but may also be available in 70, 80, and 50 meter lengths. As ropes are so cr crucial to the climbing world, there are many options to sort through when selecting one to buy. So it's important to research them and very important to consult a professional before making a selection. Lastly, I'd like to discuss rope care. Again, this gear is so crucial to the overall safety of the climbing system, it is essential to keep your, keep your rope as clean as possible to maintain the integrity of that gear. That means ropes need to be protected from the elements when in use and washed periodically through the lifespan of the rope, which may vary depending on the use and care you put into your rope. Many protect their rope with what we call a rope bag. So you can see a rope bag example here. And that has a built-in tarp that you put on the ground to protect the rope from dirt and things while you are using it. In summary, during today's episode, we talked about ropes and their different types, uses, and care. I hope you all found this video fun and informative, and please check in next Tuesday for another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday. I've been Mike Gabbianelli. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.